and this is what we're going to be looking for with Xing Cho, having that full elemental burst on the ready, ready to keep it up for whatever sort of damage dealer that you are using in Genshin Impact, whether it be the new Hu Tao, whether it's the Luke, whether it's Rosaria in the future, if you're running a freeze composition, that is exactly what you're going to be looking for. We're going to give you all of the facets about what sort of weapon you're going to be using this with, what sort of build you're going to be using this with, what sort of artifact set, and all of that stuff, guys. And yeah, you can do it without the sacrificial sword, and we show you guys exactly how to do that. So let's get in here full details on Xing Cho. This is going to be the best way you can build this character bar none in Genshin Impact. We're going to be starting from the lower tier with lower investment, but still the thing you need to be focusing on the most. And then we'll be expanding upon as you get better gear, as you get better substats and main stats on your artifacts, exactly what you can do for him potential wise. So the thing that you're really looking for here, obviously, his elemental burst, the rain cutter. This is what makes Xing Cho so strong in Genshin Impact. But this is also, also, also a very expensive energy cost, one of the highest period in Genshin Impact. And this is the sole focus initially on your build is making sure that you can get this activated as soon as possible. It's a 15 second duration and a 20 second cooldown. So this means you have 20 seconds to gain 80 energy now this energy is going to be coming from his elemental skill it's going to be coming from enemies that you're defeating dropping elemental particles your teammates dropping elemental particles and this is where you're going to be getting the calculations for how much energy recharge and be telling you guys you should be aiming for based on the weapons that you're using based on on your team composition as well now the main way you'll be getting a lot of energy for Xing Cho is with his elemental skill which also has its own downside because check it out this has a 21 second cooldown it does make five elemental hydro energy particles and that's going to be a huge thing there for you it's fantastic but very high cooldown there so let's talk about the first thing first let's talk about the stat you guys are needing to aim for mostly for xing Cho, and this is going to be energy recharge how much energy recharge i am glad that you are asking this question because this is going to be dependent on a couple of different variables. What sword are you using and what's your team composition? And do you have Constellation 6 of Xing Cho so you can make the most out of this? Also, on top of that, how uh, long are you in battle, right? Are you using the full 15 seconds of your ultimate? Are you fighting things for 15 seconds? Are you using your ultimate and you're killing everything on your abyss floor before the waves come up, right? And they spawn over on different sides of the map. Are some of that going to waste? Uh, and that's sort of the question that you need to ask yourself there. Now, quick TLDR for you. If you're just here for a generic response, aim for 200% energy recharge. You'll be doing pretty good with that at minimum. So energy recharge, 200%. Now, for those of you who want a little bit more caveat here, a better explanation of it, if you are here and you are using and have access to the sacrificial sword, that 200% is going to be very nice for you can get as low as 180 percent if you're in full uptime right you're you popping the elemental burst you're just fighting monsters for that full 15 seconds you're in the abyss you're fighting hilly trolls you're fighting slimes you're fighting multiple enemies right because these enemies as you damage them they're going to drop non-elemental energy particles where they might drop an elemental uh, or non-elemental orb that your active character is picking up swapping between your different active characters right there's going to be three other characters that are generating elemental particles as well and even though you're not picking them up on Xing Cho himself he's still gonna get a smaller amount roughly like one base energy back out of that 80 that he needs and if you have this 200 percent energy recharge then you're gonna be getting double that amount you gonna be getting two energy particles for every one that you'd be normally picking up there and that's gonna go a long way because remember you have 20 seconds to pick these particles up and then on top of that you also are generating that energy with your elemental skill. You're getting those five hydro elemental particles and he's gonna absorb those. That's gonna give you roughly 15 before your energy recharge. You can get up to you know 45 or so if you have uh, enough energy recharge for your kit between that, between the 150, maybe all the way up to 200 and some change, energy recharge there. That's gonna be a main way for him to get that energy back. So for AOE situations, it's gonna be just like every other character in the game, you guys know when you're fighting lots of tiny monsters, easy energy recharge for you there. Now, the thing that comes and it is harder for this character is when you're fighting those single big bosses, right? You're fighting uh, the Geo Vishaps that, that was on the previous floor 12 or the, uh, the Rune Graders. Those things, 
You're not fighting a whole bunch of little monsters, so you're gonna need a little bit more energy recharge there. And a great way to help you out there is obviously with an energy recharge weapon. Now, his best weapon is the sacrificial sword because it's twofold here for you guys here because his elemental skill does do a significant amount of damage it hits very very hard even if you're not focusing on him right now as a damage dealer you can later you can see here even at level seven this is almost a 600 percent multiplier that's crazy so not only are you going to be able to use this skill twice to generate those five water particles to fill up his elemental burst easier it's also going to hit very 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 hard for you which is a very big plus so sacrificial sword whether it's a dps xing cho support xing cho backline xing cho never wants to come out of the basement xing cho it is the weapon for him if you have one level it up use it love it it's awesome uh just get that energy recharge it gets up to like 50 percent as well you see mine's level 50 here because i already have a significant amount of energy and i'm just saving up on in-game resources because i'm okay with my boy with him right here right now at 60. but you can also take him up a notch and we'll get more into this later in the video to make him actually do some significant damage for you on top of that so let's talk about artifact selection and more so with the energy recharge on artifacts and how you may want to go about this so this is the noblest oblige set this is going to be a very strong set for him this is my favorite set for him because he is first and foremost a support damage dealer also this is going to help increase his attack by 20 percent as well so even if you are transitioning into that damage dealing shing cho at the end of the day this is going to help out a fair amount there if you have a lot of damage dealers in your party maybe you have like a support albedo zongli official you have your main damage dealing deluk or klee or whoever it is that you're using they're going to get that 20 percent attack for that 12 seconds as well now the other way that you can gear him up here is with two piece of noblish oblige and then you can go in and you can do two piece of the hydro sets which is going to be the heart of depth set this is going to give you 15 percent hydro damage so this is going to be more personal damage for him right you're trading off the 20 percent attack buff for the whole party but this is going to be twofold for you so hydro damage up for you as well and then do keep in mind that on top of that he also does get some extra damage reduction uh, based on his hydro damage so if you are using him for more of a support character on top of that you can get some more support instead of offensive support with attack percent you can get some defensive support because the damage reduction does scale with his hydro damage it'll be a small amount right 20 percent of that 15 percent there so it's gonna be a relatively small amount you're looking at you know eh, like three you know three percent less damage reduction there for you there because it's gonna scale up and that's gonna be nice as well so those are the two artifact sets you could also do like the maiden set but i don't really like that set personally i wouldn't really work on that set um because he does heal up a little bit here but his healing does not scale incredibly well six percent of his max hp so the way that i have him built up here as you can see we have a ton of energy recharge i'm actually a little bit over the amount that i need personally for myself but 227 percent 230 percent energy recharge that is where you guys who are not using the sacrificial sword that's kind of kind of where you want to go if you're fighting a bunch of enemies maybe using something like the favonia sword right that has energy recharge on it that's gonna help you hit that 230 percent maybe using the festering desire right that's maybe a that's your best energy recharge weapon you get up to 230 percent energy recharge there and then during that 20 seconds while you are waiting for your elemental burst to come back off cooldown you're fighting monsters you're fighting hilly trills slimes in the abyss stuff like that you're doing domains as long as you're actively participating in combat and defeating things and lowering things hp uh at a pretty average rate it'll be filled back up by the time it's ready to go again now this also is lower if you do have the sacrificial sword if you have the sacrificial sword and you are betting on the proc to activate for you whether it be 80 percent because you have a refinement rank 5 one or you have the base of refinement rank one like 40 percent proc rate you can get away with like 180 percent 185 percent energy recharge there but that's only if that sword activates again so you're really sort of a betting man on that sword activating for you to get that uh elemental energy from those five particles that are generated for you but if you want to play that betting game you can do that because what that allows you to do as we start going from the basic form of uh, sh uh this boy right here shing cho it allows you to take all of this energy recharge that you don't really need anymore and start putting it into other stats and as you start leveling him up make his weapon level 90 make him level 80 level 90 at the end of the day 
then you can start instead of focusing on a bunch of energy recharge instead of using an energy recharge sands you can have an attack percent sands you're going to want a hydro damage goblet this is going to help him do more damage it's going to help him reduce damage that you're taking as well because remember his damage reduction on his swords scales with hydro damage as well and you get crit rate and crit damage and then all of these different energy recharge substats that you have access to that you've been working on because that's what you want to work on as you're getting into Xing Cho, you can start trading them off for crit damage percent, crit rate percent, even some little bit of HP percent. If you want some more supportive aspects on his healing with his passive, you can do that as well and have like an all rounder Xing Cho, which is kind of the direction I'm starting to head in now. As I level up my uh, sacrificial sword, I'll be getting a little bit extra energy recharge to the point where, as I said, I only need like 180 percent so i'll get a little bit more here go up to the 50 something percent energy recharge and i'll be at like 237 239 almost 240 energy recharge and i can take off that main stat sands and i'll be good to go i'll be that betting man with the sacrificial sword and i'll have enough energy to make sure that i'm going through the motions and i'll start leveling up his attack percent he's gonna have a higher level weapon and he'll start doing significant damage and as you see we don't have the highest crit damage in the world right now but we do have 46 crit rate and 92 crit damage we can focus more on that stuff later on with our substats as we start working on Xing show if you thought you were done with the energy recharge talk there's one more thing for the small amount of you out there it's going to be his constellation six if you have constellation six you're going to need even less energy recharge this is because his c6 changes the way that his elemental burst works okay so typically it does like two hits and then three hits and then it does two hits and then three hits and then two hits and then three hits and then two hits and then three hits while his elemental burst is active if you have this one it means you do two hits and then three hits and then five hits and then on that attack where the five swords come out he gets three energy back you can get 18 energy from this if you have 100 uptime on damage in in combat while his elemental burst is activated so like if you are fighting the ruin greater you're in abyss you're doing all this stuff you activate his elemental burst and you're just attacking 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 the entire time you'll get that full 18 energy where this becomes a little bit different though is maybe you activate the elemental burst and you attack a dude defeat that dude you have to run across the room and you're not in combat attack that dude defeat that dude run across the room you're not in combat and now you're only getting you know nine energy back right because you have to activate that sword all of those times get all 60 individual of the swords out to get the full 18 energy there but it is very very powerful and it is something that you guys need to think about when you're gearing your character out are you a player with Xing Shou who has a very high mobility character maybe using them with a very high mobility character Shao comes to mind someone like that and you're going to be in combat all the time are you on mobile and you're kind of like lagging out then maybe this one isn't that big of a deal for you there because you're not getting the full effect of it but what this also does do is remember his elemental burst costs 80 energy if you're getting the full benefit of his c6 that's going to be 18 less energy and this basically only costs 62 energy and this lets you take down your energy recharge that you need by another 35 40 percent maybe a little bit less than that if you're not in full uptime so 20 to 40 percent energy recharge safe bets for you guys there so this allows you to drop even more energy recharge off of him which is something i'm gonna be working on in the future as well right now i'm using him explicitly as a support character to activate a uh, vaporized damage over and over and over again and that's the great thing about Xing Cho is that you can take him to like 50, you can take him to 60, you can just focus on energy recharge and he's going to be doing the job for you. It's going to be fantastic. He doesn't need to do damage, but later on when you're done working on your main character, when you've got all those good artifacts for your two main DPS characters, you can circle back to Xing Cho and then you can start giving him crit rate, crit damage and start helping him help you even more with damage as well so that's what Xing Cho is known for and that is the sort of ER that you guys really need to aim for in those different situations if you're using sacrificial sword 180 percent if you are full uptime with sack sword and you have constellation six you can go with like 150 percent if you're in decent uptime in your combat but you'll still need like 160 if you're not getting all of those hits from his elemental burst off if you're not using sacrificial sword 230 percent when you're in combat defeating monsters 
that's just the general run of the mill there for those two different numbers and then as well if you have c6 but you're not using sacrifice sword cut like 30 percent of that off for you there so you get the the 200 that we talked about that's very safe to aim for and this is simply why shing is one of the best characters in the game easy to start with really only needs one stat right away you don't have to feel too bad about stacking that stat because that is why he's in your party and then later on as you maybe get sacrificial sword as you maybe get constellations for him you can start ratcheting down the amount of energy recharge that you need and start making him do damage give him crit rate crit damage attack percent and all of that good stuff if you guys want to see more genshin Impact content and coverage make sure that you come back to the channel it's always fun to see your smiling faces down in the comment section below make sure you like the video if you want to let youtube know that you did indeed like the video so we can get in there on that algorithm and i'll see you guys in the next one take care guys